All right, I want to show you a little propagation chamber that I built uh, using simple, readily available materials. It's been working really well for me now for some time. Let's see if I can get the camera set up here so that I can dismantle it here. Basically, what you see is a uh, a plastic tub. I got it at uh, actually I dug it out of a dumpster behind a thrift store. It had been thrown out because the handles had shattered. Uh, it's cheap. And I drilled holes in it. Uh, and then that is covering a... Let's see if I can pick this up and get you a little more detail. A, a sheet of glass. Uh, don't, not sure where I got that. It's maybe a piece of an aquarium that was no longer usable. I, I'm not sure. Uh, and underneath that, <coughs> I have glued an, a reptile aquarium heater, heating pad. Keeps the uh, sand at about 70 degrees. I put a bead of silicon sealer all the way around the outside edge and, uh, and then put sand inside of here and then I just keep that moist and that keeps the inside of the chamber high humidity and warm which is ideal for uh, taking cuttings and then I have this uh, this multiple hole uh, planter tray and I put soil in the various holes and then I'll put uh, either seeds or cuttings here I have cuttings of ivy and some honeysuckle <coughs> And then I have a, a bay of laurel that was um, was in one of these, and then I've transplanted into a four-inch pot, and I'm keeping it in here to harden off for a few days so it has a chance for its roots to grow into the pot before I then put it outside. And, and this is some things that I've grown from seed. So this propagation chamber works really, really well. Uh, it provides good air exchange while keeping the humidity high and the temperature in the soil at... Uh, at a nearly ideal temperature. And uh, oh, and then I just uh, I use a couple of little pieces of bamboo to prop the uh, corners of the of the lid up so that there's a little bit more air circulation. I found with the number of holes I drilled, it wasn't quite enough. Um, and this also allows me to adjust it if I have something that needs really high humidity, fresh cuttings, or whatever. Then I'll put the, take these out and let it sit down flat. And if I need more air exchange, I'll put more of them around the corner and raise the, the bottom up a bit more.